Because you know I'm all about that table, about that table, periodic table. I'm all about that table, about that table, periodic table. I'm all about that table, about that table, periodic table. I'm all about that table, about that table, 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 table. Yeah, it's pretty clear. I'm in group one, because I'm an alkali metal, be me and having fun. Because in my pure state, I be shiny. So reactive, but not found in nature. They call me alkaline earth metal because I'm in group two. You know I got a pair of electrons in my outer sub-level. If you want to know about transition metals, they are good conductors of electricity. Next up are halogens. They are really cool. With seven electrons in their outer sub-level. We've got metals, not metals, and metalloids. Now listen some more. They classify the different groupings we listed before. Because you know I'm all about that table, about that table, periodic table. I'm all about that table, about that table, periodic table. I'm all about that table, about that table, periodic table. I'm all about that table, about that table, table, table. table. I'm a noble gas. Go ahead and tell men to leave that. They lack chemical reactivity. I'm here to tell you inner transition metals are in the F block. Yeah, the table is organized in periods. Mosley's the one who figured that out. The table has periodic trends from left to right. Valence electrons increase by one, not including the D block. The size of an atom is defined by its orbital. Half the distance between the nuclei of bonded atoms. This is the atomic radius. It has trends. The atomic radii increase down a group. A positive ion is called a cation. The loss of an electron leads to decrease in atomic radius. A negative ion is called an anion. Addition of an electron leads to increase in atomic radius. The metals at the left tend to form cations. Met non metals in upper right tend to form anions. Ionization energy goes up as you move across the table. Ionization is the process in formation of an ion. Yeah, it's pretty clear the ionization was successful because it moved an electron like it was supposed to do. Electron affinity, the energy change that occurs when an electron is acquired by a nuclear. Electron activity goes up across the table. This is the atom's charge. Whoa, whoa, whoa. If you like chemistry, then listen up. Every element is perfect from the bottom to the top. Thank <laughs> you.